All right. So here's um, my question to you there, just as a, do you believe in the international ability to regulate across borders? Like, does this lead to, you know, the world government ultimately where we are all pawns in the fingers, you know, of, you know, the WTO or, um, you know, another organization like that? And, you know, how does this work with um, American freedom and nationalism at the same time? Um, I say F the WEF and WTO and those guys, and you just make sure that it's it's transparent between the two countries at play there, like China. Like they shouldn't be allowed to, a guitar company shouldn't be allowed to shut down all their factories here, open it up over there and just pollute the crap out of everything and pour, you know, whatever chemicals they use into the water. China is cool with that, but we are not. Yeah, so, but how do you actually, you know, achieve what you're, you know, asking for? Um, you know, to a large extent, there is a capacity to know what those people are doing and what they're doing with it. Like, you would have to send in some form of regulating, monitoring group to do it, much like with regards to Iran and their new capacity. You would have to. Or just don't, because, see, this is the problem with free trade. Again, like... If if child labor is bad here, but it's OK over there because they can make them work 12 hours a day for seven cents a day, then you're basically saying child labor is OK. You're supporting that. Um, and free trade in that way with those those countries is the same end result as just having open borders. It's the same thing because it ultimately does the same stuff. So you can't be 100 percent for free trade and closed borders. Those are intellectually opposed concepts because the reason you would have open borders is for the same reason you would do free trade amongst you mean others. mean immigration areas. open borders and yeah. free trade or the, you know... Yeah, they drive down the prices of everything. So, of, of goods and of labor costs, it does have an additional negative that it causes as far as free uh, open immigration. It causes... Uh, housing prices that go through the roof, amongst other things. So you know, there's another like deeper problem here, which is that ultimately demand is what really drives markets. And what yeah. people demand is the lowest cost. The lowest yeah. cost wins as, you know, you know, economists and historians and political yeah. scientists, everybody knows who looks at it. That's and smart leadership. Well, 